Hello, maestros. My name is Bahan, and we're here to maximize our workflows. And this episode, we are saving the internet as a PDF. All right, so let's go ahead and I'll show you what it'll look like in the end. Say I'm still from the net, I shift spacebar, mm, saved. Pretty nice, I'm doing some more stuff and I really like this web page as well. Saved, pretty nice. And then say I want to change my destination where I'm saving it to, add an add option to it. I've been saving it to my download. Let's go ahead and just save it to my desktop. Boom, there we go. And I can continue surfing and then it will save in my previous the selected destination folder so you can see here that i have two pdfs in my desktop and two in my downloads pretty nice let's go ahead and build this macro command n to make a new macro we'll just call it test for now start the record mode switch over to safari and chrome has the same feature so it's pretty much the same idea in chrome as well so let's go ahead and execute our action our little workflow via our keyboard and we want to use the command p to get to our print dialog use tab to navigate to our pdf button push space to open it up arrow down space again and this is where we have our save dialog and you can just hit enter to save or if you want to change the destination you can use the go to feature which is command shift g to open up our go to folder and you can enter the path of where you want to save it here and hit enter pretty nice all right this is there we go so this is pretty much it and we can clean up our macro here and we can clean up our tabs by making a nice little repeat group but if our pop-up menu looks a little bit like this and you have buttons that look like this, it's more than likely that you're able to use the action press a button. So search for a button and you go press a button, put it right there. All you have to do is make sure the naming matches up. All right, that's pretty much it. And the only thing that's different from my final version here is that I included a little date stamp here just in case uh, I can I can turn it on just in case I am making duplicates from a website and all it will do is just insert a timestamp at the end so it navigates to the right so it goes to the end and then it paces based on my variable so if my date stamp variable is on so if it is one then it will insert the current date and time at the end all right so that's our first macro and our second one is where we have the option of adding or changing the destination by having a prompt action and it just contains a single variable that is a checkbox option so it's either off or on and then you have uh, three buttons here the download desktop and cancel so if someone hits download uh, this oh this is the um, date stamp again it'll insert the date stamp at the end and it will open up the go to so if it's download it will paste or insert this text in by typing and make sure you update it this little path here if you want to include this in your macro and if the button was if the result button was desktop it'll insert desktop and then it'll hit enter and then enter again yeah, that's pretty much how to save the internet with Keyboard Maestro. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.